And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast, sponsored by Generator Supercenter of Amarillo. Good Friday afternoon, everyone. Hopefully you're all doing well. We're going to start off with a bit of a recap from yesterday into today. Of course, we had that massive storm system kind of blow through last night. That was certainly bringing some good rain to a lot of the region. Unfortunately, nothing really much here for us here in Amarillo, but I do know that some people up near Stinnett, up near Borger, did get two and a half inches of rain, so we love to see those reports of beneficial rainfall all across the region. Looking at your satellite radar here now at the time of recording, we're looking at late Friday afternoon. You're seeing a few little spotty showers there trying to pop up around Portales, maybe down on the southwestern parts of the area. Overall, though, it's a pretty quiet afternoon for most of us. Could see a few little spotty storms that try to pop up, but we're not expecting any major systems to try to blow through. In terms of heat advisories, we have Powder Oak Canyon in the southeastern part of the region. That's for temperatures and heat indices, of course, heat index, what it feels like outside, anywhere from 105 to 107 degrees. So still pretty hot out there here as we go throughout the day. Temperatures generally in the high 90s here as of right now. As we go throughout this evening, of course, those temperatures start to cool. We'll see cooler conditions, those rain-cooled air a little bit there down off in the southwest. Clovis and Portales, high 70s, low 80s. 85 here in Amarillo, still some 90s in parts of the region. Overnight, we drop down into the low 70s, as you'll see 72, some 60s in other parts of the region. And then tomorrow, maybe, if we're lucky, might see everyone in the area state below that 100-degree mark. And I know that'll certainly be a pleasant change of pace. That's kind of the cooler conditions, if you will, that we're looking forward to for this weekend. Winds not really expected to do, to do anything crazy here. We're going to see them turn out of the southeast overnight. You're going to see them 5 to 15 miles an hour as we go into tomorrow. That's about it. Nothing really much wilder than that. So let's talk about your next weather maker. We're going to see slightly less heat. Hopefully some more rain for parts of the region. We're not looking at any drought busting rains, but hopefully some good beneficial rains. Your good upper level setup right now, high pressure system up kind of now centered around Colorado right now. we got a low pressure system in the Great Lakes region. That's putting us under what we call kind of north northwesterly flow. And basically what we get with that is that at least here for the next couple of days is we get it to kind of kick up a little bit of moisture there off the mountains of New Mexico and some thunderstorms our direction. Zooming in here, taking a look at our next seven days of expected precip totals. This sums up the next seven days all together. This is not narrowing it down to day by day. You'll see right there, everything generally stays in the greens. We don't see any blues until, like I said, you get up into the mountains. And so if we stay down in the greens, we're probably looking at somewhere around half an inch or less across these next seven days. So even the rain chances we are looking at, nothing just too wild, but this is not, you know, guaranteed. This is not written in stone. Of course, we had that system blow through yesterday that brought two and a half, three inches for some places around the region. That's not out of the question, so we won't completely discount the possibility and give up hope that we couldn't see some beneficial rains. Now, going into tonight, like I said, maybe some spotty activity off towards the west. Minimal rain showers expected. Could see a few little spotty showers early Saturday morning. And then Saturday afternoon looks to be our best shot at some scattered shower and thunderstorm activity there going into late in the afternoon. Generally, things push off towards the south as we go on into the evening overnight period, heading into your Sunday Things do look to quiet down for at least a little while, so we'll see a 30% chance of rain showers on Saturday. Lots of sunshine from Sunday through Wednesday. You'll see right there, daytime highs do get back up into low triple digits, so it is going to be another hot day out there, unfortunately. But back down in the 90s, cold front come, could, could come through Thursday into Friday of next week, bring some rain chances back in, hopefully some cooler weather as well, so we'll continue to monitor that. But in the meantime, stay cool out there on these hot summer days.